Yes, I am. Okay, you just tell me when you're rolling and uh, we'll start. I'm rolling. I'm John Quelch and I'm here with Deep Advani in May 2008 to discuss the progress Lenovo has made uh, since uh, acquiring the IBM PC business. Deep, uh, welcome. And may I ask you, first of all, to tell us how you transitioned the brand? Uh, yes, uh, so we're just coming up on our three-year anniversary, actually, in two days. And uh, three years ago, when we looked at our brand transition that we would have to do, uh, what became real clear to us is customers around the world who were buying IBM ThinkPads and IBM Think Centers were really concerned about three things. Uh, innovation, quality, and service and support. And over 90% of them told us that as long as those three, uh, we, we still focus on those three things, then they like the overall uh, acquisition because they believe we would become more cost competitive, we will invest in this business more aggressively. So we came up with a three-phase branding strategy. Phase one was downplaying the Lenovo brand. It was really conveying a message of continuity. Not much will change. Same products, same people, same processes. And I believe we did a pretty good job with that phase because we held on to a lot of our customers. Uh, we didn't see a big fall off in revenue that we were afraid could potentially happen. So that was phase one. In phase two, we said ThinkPad is our crown jewel. It's a great brand. It's associated with IBM. So let's focus in phase two on strengthening the ThinkPad brand and introduce Lenovo as making ThinkPad better. That ThinkPad is in good hands, and in fact, if you liked the ThinkPad from IBM, you're gonna love the ThinkPad from Lenovo. And in fact, we just launched our X300, uh, which is the first ThinkPad with Lenovo on the outside cover, because we wanted to make a statement, because we believe the 300 is the best ThinkPad ever built. Uh, it's on the cover of Business Week, it's gotten great reviews, so phase two, Strengthen ThinkPad, introduce Lenovo as making ThinkPad better. And phase three is build the Lenovo master brand. We're now getting ready to go into consumer space around the world, and we are in the process of building up the Lenovo master brand. And could you say a few words about the 3000 series, which I think was an initial effort in that direction? Mm -hmm. So just our branding strategy, the three phases, really followed our business strategy, which was also in three phases. Phase one was to focus on our large relationship mid-market customers. That's where we gave the message of continuity on the branding front. Phase two, we said let's go after small business customers around the world. And that's when we focused on strengthening ThinkPad and introduced Lenovo as a company making ThinkPad better. In phase two, we also announced the 3000 line, which was designed for the small business customer. Wasn't designed for consumers because we weren't ready to go into consumer space yet was designed for small business customer. And the reason we called it 3000 is because we didn't want to put a lot of emphasis on the sub brand. We wanted everything to focus on the Lenovo master brand. So that's why we called it 3000. It was targeted for small business customers and it worked quite well. And now I think you're contemplating something called the idea pad, yeah. uh, which is gonna be the platform alongside ThinkPad that's targeted at uh, that uh, broader marketplace. Absolutely, absolutely. So when we got ready to launch the consumer product line globally, we said, you know, it'd be great if we could borrow some equity from the Think line, but still give this product line a very different personality. It's gotta be more sexy, more exciting, you know, more consumer oriented. And uh, had we done that to ThinkPad, we would have alienated the core ThinkPad loyalists, which is a very dangerous thing to do. So we said, we're gonna keep ThinkPad the ultimate business tool and refine it, invest in it. But on the consumer side, we're gonna come out with a new product line that still shares some of that DNA. Uh, but it's gonna come across as a more jazzy and more consumer oriented product line. An idea, think, it's a good sort of a compliment. And what we want to do is as we build the Lenovo Master brand, we want it to be known as the company. We are the company that builds the best engineered PCs on the planet. And for business customers, that engineering manifests itself as the best quality, the best security, the most reliable, lowest cost of ownership in the think line. For consumers, 
that engineering will manifest itself into features that consumers care about. Great design, very interesting, cutting edge design. Uh, features like face recognition, Dolby surround sound, better multimedia. So engineering still cuts across, think an idea, but one product will focus on business customers, one line will focus on consumers. And for that reason, as Chief Marketing Officer, I believe that you are overseeing the design arena as well as the yeah. communications arena. Yes. Could you speak to your responsibilities and role as CMO and what do you think a CEO needs from a really good CMO these days? Yeah, well that's a really good observation, John, because design is really the best manifestation of your brand. Uh, and having design tightly coupled with marketing is a very important thing to do because you are evolving your design based on what's really gonna resonate in market. It's not being driven by technology, what technology is capable of doing, but instead, how can design best represent uh, my brand? So yes, I do have design uh, under me, which I think is important. I also have PR under me because more and more, PR is becoming a more effective way to convey your message and build your brand. Also internal communications, because great brands get built inside out. If your employees don't turn into your brand ambassadors, you have no chance of convincing customers. As far as what a CEO would look in a CMO in today's day and age, is not uh, advertising ex executive. I mean, advertising is important. You need to get that right. But you need to do more than that. You need to understand and communicate how marketing drives business results. Why is invest long-term investment in brand? Salespeople tend to get focused on current quarter, generate leads, which is important. Marketing can help with demand generation. But marketing also needs to spearhead longer term investments in brand building. And in order to convince the board, senior leadership team that that's a good investment, you need to demonstrate how that will deliver business results from market share gains to improve profitability. So I believe more and more what CEOs are looking for are marketing executives who can explain how marketing drives business results, who are focused not just on advertising, but all the touch points where brands get built from service to after sales to supply chain. So holistic view, business grounding is, is what I believe people are looking for. Final question, talking about results, uh, how has Lenovo done over the past three years? Yeah, and no, I'm, I'm very uh, delighted to report that uh, all the naysayers three years ago who said this is not gonna work have sort of run for cover because we've had seven quarters uh, of share gains. Uh, we're profitable in every geography. Uh, our profits have soared by triple digits. Um, our market capitalization has almost tripled. Uh, so the market is giving us credit uh, for our execution. But more importantly, things that people don't see on the outside. Inside the company, we've really bonded as a team, which I believe, given the diversity of our team and the level of trust we've built up in our team, we believe at the end of the day, that's our competitive advantage. Deep, thanks very much for joining us. It's my pleasure. Okay. All right. All right. Okay.